aka Flyball Saturday morning. I want to show you guys one of my triplets is chasing a dun, and that's all he does is chase that curve everywhere. You know, when they fly, he's right on our ass. Look at him. What? He's just running from him. And he's just like galloping like a freaking crazy stallion chasing her everywhere. It's pretty cool. He looks cool. He, look, he does look like a stallion the way he walks. Uh, I'm gonna see if I get him on focus again. He's a small little dog, little hen. My bird, they're feeding their witty, so I'm gonna leave them out hanging out in the yard all, all, as much as I can get away with without a hawk scaring the shit out of them, chasing them, and grabbing them. Yeah, they, they need to get out and stretch. I love my birds, man. If I could not keep them out all day, I would. But the hawks, you're good. So what I do is I got a little tiny, uh, we used to call them clapper holes. What are, it's just a small hole, size, like for some few birds to come out at a time and go in the smalls. That way no animals can go in. That's see, it's right there on the door. That's where they go in through. It's one of the door I got there with a hinge and some um some um what do you call those Those bars where they can push bars. Here go these two. Look, they're, they're, he's after her, and she's just trying to get away from his ass. He's smacking everywhere. It's a nice cruiser too. And I got one up on the roof, chasing, looking for sticks to bring in. Doing all kinds of acrobatic. I dive down to the floor and go right back up without touching it. It's pretty cool. I'm just chilling. There goes my little den over there with the white on it. And there he goes. He's right next to her. <laughs> oh, the trip. Thank God my birds look good. I haven't had anything wrong with them. My loft is nice and dry. It doesn't smell like shit or ammonia or anything like that. Oh, it's good. Yeah, they're all looking up. Like, it's not a hawk that they see. Oh, here you go, some on the floor. Let you guys get a good look. That's a nice pair of grizzlies right there. I would love to breed them to. I mean, that's a grizzly or a Budapest, I think. But these two grizzlies are a pair. Those are real to be nice young ones if I let them. I just put out like three or four bowls for all those birds. I don't want to breed them too many. I got my breeders on the other side, so. If they want to breed, they'll breed. It's hard for me to control them all. At the end of the season, I'll just go in and throw out all the eggs or whatever the hell I have in there. You dead birds, or you are, I'll have to keep them alive for that. Definitely, when they hatch, I take care of them. Seems like I, I can split them up, I will, and then I'll, I can hand feed them or whatever the hell I, can, I have to do, but 
Sometimes I times hand feed them with the exact uh, syringe. Uh, get them nice and fed and they start eating right on their own. I love breeding. I love seeing them. Seeing what they turn out to be. I remember I had bred a nice mag, yellow magpie. Uh, and um, that year I um, my bird loft wasn't too clean or I don't know what I, I didn't know what I was doing so much. And I just let them go and they got sick on me but it was a beautiful magpie. Bye honey. See you later. Be careful out there. Alright guys. I'm gonna let you go. I might put this uh, video out there or not. There you go, the nice red at the door, man. She's nice. She got a little white face. I got two of them. And there's the other one. They have little white faces. And um, all these birds fly, guys. None of these are bunkers. They don't go on my on the, on the house next door or any house. And they don't land on trees. They land, on, they land on my house and my house only. And their love. Alright guys, it's a bit long. I don't want to bore you. We'll have two other pigeon mumblers. Peace out. AKA Flyloft Tipplers in the house.